first ring, big welcome, Josh Fleming. So, uh, not having a very good day. Uh, I found out that this girl that I've been sleeping with, I, that I, I'm sorry, a girl that I used to sleep with, no, sorry, I found out this girl that I used to sleep with, I found out she was telling everybody that I'm bad at sex. And I don't know how she managed this, but she somehow convinced all the girls I slept with before her and all the girls I slept with after her to also tell everybody that I'm bad at sex. <laughs> Yeah, so now I got these three girls running around town telling everybody I'm bad at sex. It's not doing me any favors. I, uh, you guys ever get compared to like a famous person that you don't like? That ever happened to anybody? Oh, it's been happening to me a lot. And there's not just one act. I, I keep getting compared to every fat child actor. It's awful. Like, the first time it ever happened to me, it, it was, I, the worst part was I didn't think I was fat at the time. But a guy was, uh, was partying with some friends, and this guy that I didn't know was like, oh man, you're just like Chunk from the Goonies. I was like, what? I'm the, I'm the fat Goonie? If we were the Goonies? Oh no. I came around, and I was like, all right, he's the comic relief, he does the truffle shuffle, that's good stuff. Okay, I can handle Chunk, I can be Chunk. Uh, and a buddy of mine uh, one time introduced me on stage as, Hey, everybody, give it up for Fat Jerry O'Connell from Stand By Me. <laughs> Which I just kind of, I laughed off at the time. I hadn't seen that movie in a long time. I watched it, like, a couple weeks ago. I'm a dead ringer for Fat Jerry O'Connell from Stand By Me. Like, I'm like, did we switch lives at some point? What's happening? Oh. The, and then this girl that I really like, her favorite movie stand by me, right? So I was trying to get a little reassurance. And so I messaged her and I was like, you're not gonna believe this, but uh, I've been compared to fat Jerry O'Connell like, from Stand By Me. And she was like, I tell everyone who asks about you that that's who you remind me of. Mixed with Bruce from Matilda. Lots of Matilda fans in here, great. I, you know what I hate the most about that is that kid is also in The Wedding Singer. No one's ever like, you look like you could have slow danced with Drew Barrymore. They're like, no, you look like the kid who ate an entire chocolate cake because someone didn't think he could do it. <laughs> Actually, the worst part was I wasn't even mad at the girl. I was just like, oh my God, she's talking to me to her friends, talking about me to her friends. Yes! <laughs> I would, I'd like to lose weight though, I think. But there's a lot of lying involved in weight loss, you know? Uh, I don't know. And some people don't know it's when they put on weight. How's that possible? You know, there's signs, right? Stretch marks, that's a big one. That's your skin being like, there's not enough of us. <laughs> but even, I, I guess I'm guilty of that, even my first one. I was like, what the, did I climb a chain link fence last night? What the is this? <laughs> but I would like to lose weight, I think, I, it's just, like, I saw Jillian Michaels on a talk show, you know, she's like the trainer from that Fat Loser show or whatever, and Jillian Michaels on a talk show said, for every 30 pounds of fat a guy loses, they gain one inch on their penis. <laughs> no. <laughs> no is right! What? That's not true! It makes sense to a certain extent, right? Like, if I lost my gut, and the slightly sm smaller gut down here. Like, yeah, my, it, it made my penis look a little bit bigger, right? But to put an exact number on it, 30 pounds equals one inch for every guy, like, I couldn't gain 300 pounds and then lose that same 300 pounds and all of a sudden my hammer's 10 inches bigger than it used to be. Right? Everybody maxes out differently. I'm cursed with nine inches, guys. It's not getting any bigger. And you know it's not true because weight loss commercials would be way different, right? Like back in the day, like, oh, I lost 100 pounds with this Bowflex. They'd be like, I gained three inches on my penis with this Bowflex. Go get one. They'd still be flying off the shelves. 
<laughs> I don't know. Um, I like. I wish I could get dates. I'm not good. I try even try the dating apps. You know, some people have luck on the dating apps. Not me so much. I didn't mind Bumble, I'll say, because I like Bumble because Bumble would send you nice little encouraging messages every once in a while. <laughs> They'd be like, why aren't you swiping? Huh? If you're not matching if you're not swiping. You're 70% more likely to meet someone on a Tuesday. What? I don't care where they're getting these numbers. Yes, this feels good, getting encouragement. I only ever got one message from Tinder, and they were like, you have way more matches than usual. <laughs> them like encouraging me that was like them reaching out being like yeah we don't know what's going on here uh, I think there's something wrong with the algorithm uh, contacting these people and making sure they know which way to swipe <laughs> I don't know has anyone tried um, I, I, I've had, the only one I've had pretty good luck on is anyone on the Facebook the Facebook one not too bad right marketplace it's called Great, all you do is type in interests, a whole bunch of people come up, it's like, uh, all six seasons of Gossip Girl for $60? Yeah, I'll be right over. <laughs> a little marketplace and chill. Right? <laughs> the best part too, after it's over you get a little rating. Five stars. It's like, yeah, back at you, five stars. Way to throw it down. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, yeah, the other thing I didn't like about Tinder was I, I, uh, I never got, anytime I did get a match, I just got, like, um, no response on the other side. Anytime I'd say, hey, there's silence. It's very sad for me. And then one time I did finally talk to a girl, she talked back, we were hitting it off, I thought. It's going great. And I finally got the courage up, I asked her out, I was like, hey, you wanna maybe go out sometime? And then there it was again, silence on her hands. <laughs> And then a day later, she said, no, nah, I'm not that interested. <laughs> it turns out silence plus a day with a not that interested, way worse than just silence. Oh my God. I would kill to know what silence felt like. <laughs> I, uh, I, I got contacted a little while ago by this, uh, this girl I didn't know. I, we have a mutual friend. She contacted me on Facebook and she said, uh, Hey, you don't know me, but this girl that we're both friends with thinks we'd be a pretty good matchup. And I was like, uh, she's like, would you like to go out sometime? I'm freaking out on the other end, just trying not to be like, yes, please! <laughs> but uh, it took me 10 minutes to be cool enough to just be like, yeah, that'd be great. How about this weekend? And she said, uh, no thanks. <laughs> now women are seeking me out to turn me down. What the hell is going on? Try to be nice, right? That's what everyone says. Try to be nice, right? But uh, nice guys finish last. That's what the saying is, right? Yeah, nice guys finish last. I don't even like that saying. I um, I'd like them to update it and make it something a little more modern. You know, something like um, nice guys finish by themselves on their own stomach. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here on that. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>